going on everybody? It's Milbro back with the banks here. Um, we're on day 13 and uh, well we've been a little busy overnight. Like, well, I've collected a little bit of clay. I still want to collect some more, but um, we're kind of working on our core base stuff. You know, we actually get prepared and I'm searching for duct tape. Um, I got plenty of glue and bones and all that stuff, so we got even more glue. And I'll just burn this into the and I need some extra cloth. There we are. But yeah, I'm trying to make a tier 5 uh, shovel just so I can be a bit more proficient. Um, looking at a steel shovel because we can, I can make one, but um, iron shovel, well, I'm not using a legendary par on a, on a iron shovel. Yeah, so, that wouldn't be the brightest idea. If it was a steel shovel or a steel pickaxe, maybe, but just kind of was a waste, but I figure we might as well, you know, we should just start working on board based stuff and you know, so we don't have a repeat of last Disaster time. Disaster like last time. Yep. Bangs is kind of doing a new design. The old one over yonder, like, uh, he said just... Takes too long to build. Yeah, it takes way too long and, well, I got, I'm going to be building a backup, so. Uh, I mean, mine's nearly done. I'm also trying to make sure I have tools craft and get into tool crafting. So, um, you want to see what I have for at least the normal zombie fighting area? Yeah, sure. We'll check that out. Besides, I think there might actually be cotton over here because I'm short on cloth. <sighs> oh wow. This wow, this is interesting. Designed for a base. Oh, you're just not gonna do pathing. Just let zombies uh, just come up and beat on it. Yeah, that's where you. If you if I really want to do pathing, I this is more of just since we don't have much time to do any tricky stuff. Ah. Uh, very interesting little design there. Um, but yeah, I need to... Where is the... I gotta go search for cotton. So, uh, there's some up here. Give you that. I'm also working on a mini bike, which I probably should work on that. Um... Of course, I'll just kind of keep searching for the flowers, but I should probably just slap a point into living off the land just so I can have that little, just make it doubly efficient, so. But as just the convenience sake, though, I'm going to see if there's any duct tape from Trigger Wrecked. So, Trigger Wrecked, I hope you have something useful. Oh, it's also a trader restock day, so... Uh, Put away your weapon, unless you'd like to die. Chop, chop, dumb fuck! Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't have... He does not have any duct tape, unfortunately. Check your books, though, quick. Um, you have some knife guy, which I'll take off you. You cheap yeah. ass son of a bitch. That's all you're gonna buy? Oh, trader wrecked. So yeah, I'm gonna just work on collecting resources, folks, so I'll let you, I'll probably fast forward through and then like, till the point where I can, where I feel good about you know, having, you know, kind of start building process, so catch you once that's over.
All right, guys, so coming up on the building segment here, I'm happy with all the cloth fragments I've managed to, I've managed to start crafting. And, well, I was just about to tell Fangs a funny story, kind of revolving around the story of, like, well, the old saying of, if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. Well, this is a funny little story that I... I If you watch the Fat Electrician on YouTube, uh, it, you probably might have heard this one before, but... Good. If you don't know him, he's a good history teacher. He has a good spin of humor. But I was about to tell Fangs a story about in 2018, like, the United States military, they were wanting to have these drones that go out with, like, squads of the Marine Corps, the United States Marine Corps, with us. And and so, basically, like, uh, they were supposed to act as an anti-warning, well, early warning system. And, well, the... Uh, they wanted to, they they told the marines to to be like, okay, we want you to, to try and sneak up on this thing from a kilometer away without being detected and touch it. And so it, this is, it's just hilarious what the marines did. Like, uh, so I'll kind of go in like, it was like the least stupid to most stupid. Basically, like the first way, like, a Marine or two took some, uh, took some Marine Corps, well, they decided to go with a, they decided, like, okay, let me put tree branches on and everything like that on me, and well, let me try sneaking up that way, like, whereas a camouflage suit, he managed to sneak up on him, on the robot, from a kilometer away and, and touched it, no problem. Then, the, these, uh, Couple more Marines decided, like, uh, um, we're gonna we're gonna just summer and somersault our way uh, all the way to the robot from a kilometer away and see if we can do it. And guess what? They managed to they managed to sneak up on the robot undetected, somersaulting a whole kilometer. This is the and this is the most hilarious part. Um, the a few more Marines decided, hey, let's just take some Amazon boxes and put over ourselves and do it Metal Gear Solid style, and 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 they managed to, and they learned, and they, and I kid you not, they they managed to sneak up on the on the robot and touch it without getting detected. So <laughs> they That's learned. It's like, ah, oh, I think we need to do some design changes. <laughs> and. <laughs> It's just like <laughs> the fat electric shit goes. It's like, um, it's he's like the Marine Corps has had this history of like where they're literally like they do they literally approach stuff for the most stupid way possible just to see if it works, and they and yes this is successful. It's like they oftentimes succeed. He's like basically the whole entire military's motto is we're just gonna show up or we're gonna improvise. We don't have a plan. This quote, it's like it makes a lot of sense once I once you think about it. But it's like basically it goes like this: uh, if you can't be three steps ahead of your enemy if they don't even know where they're going. It's like, he said that in the video, like, I think it says his quote, Fat like Christians, and it makes so much sense. They're somewhat so stupid to the point where they don't even know where they're going. You can't predict where they're gonna, what they're gonna do. <laughs> That's called a foolproof plan. Exactly. Just go in without a plan, then the enemy can't, can't plan around the plan. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I was looking into my iron shovel. Where is it? And... Give me that. And we're looking into minibike stuff. I'll have to scrap well, I got little, little air ducts for you to drop grenades or throw molotovs down. Nice. Mm-hmm. So I need mechanical parts, and electrical parts, and short iron pipes, and a headlight and springs. Um, see if I can actually remember this. And... So... 
I can make a handlebar. And... I need mechanical parts. And we're not gonna... I'm going to not worry about that for the time being and actually focus on building a base. Well, building a backup, so... Oh, Screamer! XP delivery service. Yep. And did you summon any friends? No. Well, that's I... where you wait till they summon friends and then kill them. Well, I'd rather not be interrupted by unwanted company. Hmm. And... So... The plan here is going to be pretty simple. It's just literal. I'm just going to be a literal extension onto the base. <laughs> it might not look the prettiest in the world, but function over form. Yep. And so we're just going to come out a few blocks. Yeah, not, like, regarding the whole, like, thing with the Marines, it's like, uh, basically it's like in, people kind of said it like this, like, if, and it's kind of, it's kind of hilarious, like, they're like, uh, with the Marine Corps, it's basically like, if you tell them that you're smart, they are, they're just gonna say, they're basically just gonna react to you with, with, okay, this, if you, since you're so smart, can you outsmart or dumbassery? It's literally a challenge to them if you say you're smart. Yep, pretty much. It's like pretty much they could just. They are very confident that they can out dumbass you. Or outsmart you with dumbassery. And uh, somehow it ends up working. <laughs> Apparently, I decided it was a great idea instead of doing just. Like build, regular building blocks, uh, just start upgrade and just start you know, making regular wood cubes. Mm. I then again, it does save it does save an upgrade process. I mean, I got uh, I start off with a good 200 wood cubes, and that's what I'm using currently. Smoke them if you got them. Yep. Yeah, basically, it's just gonna be like an extension here, and do 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 do. Oh, at down least down to a hundred block. Thunderstorms rolling in, so. And... Then I'm gonna kind of go to a tried and true block that I love having. Um, uh, no, it's the point two from point zero two five middle blocks, and, and then we're gonna do it. And basically, we want to have just just some little pathing. The problem is these blocks are a pain in the butt to place sometimes. Um, but yeah, basically replicate this on both sides and like kind of replicate the idea and then like have a little structure on both sides, like the west and east sides. So I'm actually going to wind up fast forwarding this building process where you can focus. So.
Well, everybody, so, uh, I've gotten this upgrade yet, but I figured, you know, we can get the basic structure built up here. I need to make more wood, uh, wood building blocks, but I've at least gotten basically all of the, all of the, uh, one side set up. That's like, uh, for very, 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 very simple little design for me, and like, we'll go check, I'll check Fangs' base out for you in just a second. Just want to make sure I have the basic structure done, just so I can... And... I see a zombie. Hmm, splendid. And of all zombies, it has to be the, it has to be the, the party girl. Mm, the most common. At least it's not like a rad white or something like that. Mm -hmm. She did drop loot though. Ah. She dropped a couple machine gun books. Nice. Ah. <sighs> yeah, she was useful. What was that? At least she was useful. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen like the one stream I was doing on my casual world, like where I was raiding Army Post Number Seven. It was like it was practically like raining loot bags from zombies. Like I had like ten or eleven drop within like the last half of the half of the POI. Uh, well then you did you have uh what is it? Lucky looter. Yeah, lucky looter. Or I had nowhere. I had lucky looter fully spec'd out, I believe, and. Yeah, because if you have that fully spec'd out, it gives you a higher chance for them to drop stuff. Like, I had all the perk points into it, and, uh, I also had the book series done mm -hmm. for it. Okay, I was about to say, I mean the book series. I was like, this is, this is an incredible amount of loot for, for zombies to be dropping, and I'm like, this, like, what's going on here? Gotta do some slight modifications to the base here. Gotta chop some stuff. That was like, oh, well, it's like, still like loot bags drop fairly often, but it's like, I was just like, this is almost unusually high for for loot drops. And... There. Make some more frames. I just kind of craft frames. I was like, oh, that way I don't have a absolute ton just sitting around. But sometimes it's better to overcraft. And we'll do it on this side as well. Make the modifications uniform. So I know it's a little slow, but it's a something it's a necessary evil, guys, so. Uh, you gonna add spikes to the roof? Yeah, after I after I kinda Get it, uh, get this all built up. Uh, yeah, that's a necessity. Well, I was just gonna place, like, I'm gonna have bars above it, and we can just shoot the birds, but it's like, yeah, spikes are good, too. Yeah, that's where you do bars, then spikes, if you really want to go at it for a while, if you're gonna keep that one to last a while, because then, once they break, you can see them attacking and look up and just start shooting at them. Yep. That's basically what I'm doing. Fortunately, this was already... Nope. Yeah, these were already... These were already pre-rotated for me. Hang on. Um... There we go. Oh, I love this. Copy rotation and block feature. And... Like, I'm not going to upgrade it yet for you guys. Like, it'll be kind of an overnight thing, so... Um... There. So that's built up. I'll take care of the spikes later. So, I gotta go... Almost like I have to go collect more wood. Let's check Fang's birdcage. He says he's been able to rig it up with explosive shoots, uh, so... Ooh, very nice. 
Um. Wow. Look. I presume these trapdoors are the explosive chutes. Yep. You can okay. fall through them to actually get out. I left that to where you can still get out. Ah, uh, okay. I got a roof to this, but might not want to walk around too much up there. Oh, okay. All the spikes yeah. in the world. <laughs> okay. So yeah, after after the building, uh, I want to go do the quest over there for get, give you guys a little bit of reward for if you manage to sit through this. So, because it's a lot of time lapsing. Uh, but let me just kind of feed myself and get my get my drinks up and we'll arrive over there. If we were to make our, our custom bases as N2 POIs, what tier would my castle be? It would probably be, I would want to say, like, uh, depending on how you lay it out, it'd probably be like, maybe a tier 6 on its own, and then like a tier 7 infestation. There's no tier 7, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, if they were to add tier 7s, that would be, that would be what it is. No. If what with what I'm playing, it might turn into a tier ten. I'm planning on. You remember what I was going to do with the last season? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I might try and do that with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're realizing <laughs> how big. No, I. Be. It's one of those. It's like if you were doing it on this world, like we already that far, like uh, I would be here for it. <laughs> Dude, it would take so long, you would be dead by then. Okay, guys, so, Pigs and I were talking about projects, but, uh, I'm here at, what is this, Fort Camo, so. Um, nope, oh, looks like a zombie's already woken up to try and say hello to me. I did pick up the air drop. double loot it, or did you guys start it? I haven't started the quest yet, so I think I might actually double loot it. Cheek, might as well go for a cheeky double loot. Mm hmm One of the pillars are now steel. Yeah, things is up pretty... ugly steel. At least you can paint over it. You can paint over every block. Yeah. That's that's but why don't I don't make it special, it just makes it more ugly. <laughs> no, it it just makes it it makes it less ugly. <laughs> it's still it's still ugly, but it's uh, but it's less ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pour some water into the pasta. I th I also thought for a second you were making spaghetti. In, in game, like... That would take an enormous amount of resources compared to what we have now, just for one meal that only one person can eat. Yeah! <laughs> and there's already spaghetti. Canned spaghetti! Well, if you do get some cans of spaghetti, let's save that for a late game, because that's always good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna double loot this joint. Might as well. I realize there's landmines. I should probably be careful of those. Yeah! <laughs> I'd say so! Go sky high. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's just here. There's a term for people that uh, do that. Nitwits! <laughs> Great heist, 10% uh, more damage to safes. So that's not too bad. Oh, there's a crawler on top of one of the tents. I, I took the oh, crawler's arm off. So I'm so close to having the uh, steel for the resources required to start crafting 90s steel ingots. I love how I was hearing your microwave. Uh. Yeah, I, I heard the BB of your microwave. I'm like, like I can hear the man cooking his uh, cook his noodles. Where is that damn feral soldier? He was chasing after me just a second ago. It's gonna take 15 minutes to make 90 of them. Oh, lovely. But I'm gonna go AFK for a minute. I gotta use the rest of them. So, actually no, since it, we're about to split, I'll just wait for eh. maybe, what five, ten minutes. Yeah, maybe. Double loot of XP. Always. Ah, boop. And... Thank you for your loot. 
Oh, yeah, hello. Did you not look into Sea of Thieves? I still have not looked into that yet. Oh yeah, you have an AT. And... <laughs> Looks like I might be repairing my pistol. How um... splendid. I'll just rapid fire grounds like there like there's no tomorrow. I'm just like, eh, screw. It. I'm just gonna use the pistol, go all out. Yep. And give me some loot. Oh hey, a toolbox actually gave me a couple, a couple of repair kits. Because mm. I'm pretty sure I put them in the. Oh, landmines are going off. Kaboom! 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 Zombies, kill yourself! <laughs> uh. I love How much it when. How landmines cost? I don't know. Not me thinking about using a purpose to defend. I mean, in my in my casual world, I'm just I'm thinking about having a having it for. Um... Oh, and there's a wandering horde. They're gonna hit the landmines. We got some fireworks! Oh, really? My favorite's when like the zombies kind of ragdoll into other landmines. Setting them off, creating a chain. Boom! <laughs> if only that would actually work. Yeah. And great you. Although I wish you could I had placed more than one mine on a block. Because there, if you place them on every block in a line, there's still a large area that you can just crawl through. Mm-hmm. And... Well, the zombie sprained my arm! And... We'll just... Might as well salvage this up for clock, guys, so... Oh, I love these army camps because they have bunk beds for... they have bunk beds for... for... spare cloth. Military footlocker, anything good out of you? A tier 5 pipe pistol. About night. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit for me to double loot it. And... That's all salvage. I'm trying to think of how do I get into the how do I get into the old the hatch under there that's what I'm trying to figure out um, let me just sell this up quick for extra mechanicals did I search you? yes and it's almost night time. I think it's actually up in this tower. Been a minute since I read these. Here, zombies, wake up. And there's the... There's the old... thingy. And... We'll get this. Take care of this. Yes, come up through the hatch. It's perfectly safe. Oh Definitely. wait. I realize which which base this is. What face? Fort Camo. It's got the secret lab under well, the, the lab underneath it. How splendid is that? Right? It has some feral whites, I believe, so... Um... Oh, I really... I reload so slow with this arm. That's usually how things end up being. You go real slow. Oh no. Feral soldiers. How fun. Yep. How fun indeed. And radiant soldiers! Even better! 
You're screwed. Oh no, I can get up out of here. It's not that bad. I know. Sir. 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 Stop hanging me. Ow. I am on top of the tent. No, okay. One, uh, one reed eat is dead. I think I'm probably gonna die on the first loop. Yep, I'm on 2 HP. Oh wait, I actually managed to take him down. Do you have a medic? <laughs> Uh, let's see. <laughs> you forgot one, didn't you? Uh, I'm looking at the box. I have a first aid bandage. Dude, you need to get out of there. Oh, wait, I actually did have a med kit. Whew. Okay. Not me just slowly seeing your HP bar fill. <laughs> uh... Well, I'm sitting comfortably at nearly 100% HP. Yep. I've unlocked pistol quality 4. Give me one second, guys. I'll break into the main loot for you. You know what? I just thought of it would be a fun weapon to have in this game. What? Are you familiar with the Mark 19 grenade launcher? Not really. It's a belt-fed, fully automatic grenade launcher in 40 millimeter. Mm. Imagine having that in this game. That sure would be interesting. See a room of zombies and then, like, oh hi! You you were you were, you're all sleeping here. Let me just blow you up. No, right. that's not how you say it. Hi! Oh, you're all sleeping? Let me blow you to smithereens! <laughs> Alright guys, I, I got the wrong. I got the loot broken into, so um we'll just check in. I'm just gonna kinda go through this because it's getting to be a long recording here, so um that equipment. That seems like some pretty good stuff. And, well, I said I was going to double loot it for you guys, so we're going to activate the quest. Let me just restart my recording. I can only record to up to an hour at a time, guys, so. Oof. And... It's storming out. Try to do this as uh, quick as possible for you, that way it's not too long on the episode, so... Just throw in all the loot, and all right, time to time to raid. Yes, I. I'd... I'd like you all to just please go away. Ow! Get off me. you. You're mad at me, so... If I cannot miss my sh If you would stop waggling around, that'd be great. And military chest, so... Urban combat... Armor doesn't slow me down while in combat. Nice. Right. Puppies. And... Check the... Take care of you. And... You're done for, you're done for. Under the sand. Shoot you up a little bit. And... Ah! Run. I just realized now, like, with the POI, like, being reset, it just mm, reset all the landmines. Ah, so that means, if, that means if more screamers here to show up, then they'd get to run in into landmines. Yep, and learn what, feel what the feeling of being hit by a landmine feels like. 
Screamer Zombie, would you please care to tell us about your experience of being hit by a landmine? Oh wait, you can't. You're dead, bitch. <laughs> You're done for. All right. The big money, uh, the big money zombies. You know, let me actually grab my crossbows, uh, crossbow bolts, guys, like, because that would actually not be a bad idea. Uh, grab that. Also, just in case, we'll grab... Where are they? My flaming bolts. Just in case we need a little bit of extra spicy zombiness. Try to do this somewhat stealthily. It is dark. Of course it is. It's night time, sir. I'm inside the laboratory. Mm. It's basically pitch black. Mm. I'm just giving my commentary, basically. I'm doing nothing right now. Pretty much. And... Courier like satchel. Basically, under halfway done. And you were basically dead. Yep. Are you basically dead? No, the zombie. No. Half HP. Um. See where these guys are hiding. Well, I managed to sneak one of them out, so. I'm gonna do my favorite strategy of, of run right there. Use the door as my uh, as my shield. Why? Because of the rat soldiers. This is my go-to strategy for trying to hold zombies back. One's down. Ah, great. AK broke. How is and... one dead? You probably should have been watching. I mean, it's okay. My 9 mil just took him out. There is a couple more zombies. We'll check your loot. Okay. So. We gotta clear a couple more clowns out. And should be fine. You say should. Emphasis on should. A hundred screamers just randomly spawn in for yep. a non explained reason. I just destroyed the outhouse to take out a zombie. Okay, that's the quest, guys. So I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'll bring I'll bring you the loot next episode. So I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, if you did uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and uh, help turn on notifications. Helps the channel out oh so much. Have a good one, and take care.